Welcome back to Grow Socially Summer Video Series, our 10th installment. My name is Lou. And I'm Tom Barry. And we have five good stories this week. Tom, if you want to kick us off with the fifth one, uh, Facebook facial recognition. Yeah, I, apparently, I mean, Facebook re uh, facial recognition has been used for years now. Police have been using it, but now Facebook has installed a Facebook, uh, facial recognition. That's hard to say. Facebook has installed facial a facial recognition, recognition. Uh, software to where, you know, tagging pictures has now just become so much easier. And the big controversy with it is that privacy effect again. People are worried because Facebook has a database of the largest amount of pictures in the world right now. And with that kind of software, it's unbelievable. I saw an uh, article earlier about a recognition software that was used to catch 15 criminals going into the Super Bowl or something like that. And I think that's unbelievable. Facebook just now has the opportunity. Right, and this that. study was done with public information. It was done at Carnegie Mellon, uh, the famous university. Um, it was all done with public profile pictures. And yeah. it was pretty accurate, I think, when they tried to do it. So um, it's definitely something to think about. I think privacy issues with Facebook are going to keep popping up um, as time goes on. Number four, politics again, kind of making their way into social media. Newt Gingrich, um, the Republican presidential hopeful, has been sort of boasting his Twitter numbers recently in different um, public forums, saying he had six times as many Twitter followers as any other Republican uh, presidential candidate. And turns out that I think about 8% of those Twitter uh, followers are human or active. Um, so that's kind of been a black eye for Newt because um, he had 1.3 million and the rest of the presidential hopefuls had about 60,000 apiece. So Newt is definitely uh, yeah. catching some flack <laughs> for that. Um, it makes sense that I wouldn't personally follow Newt Gingrich on Twitter. Anyway, he doesn't, yeah, I mean, he's not the most exciting guy, but um, I don't know, it's something to think about. It's just another way social media can get people in trouble. Yeah. Um, albeit this one's a little funnier, I think, but. Uh, it's just, just another example of you got to be careful of what you do with social media. Yeah, okay. uh, Tom, number three? Uh, number three, Google and Microsoft have actually released new... Uh, Google, with their new software releases lately, have now gotten into a very vicious patent battle with uh, Apple and Microsoft. And apparently it's just a huge legal battle about the fact that there's uh, so it's such a close relationship between what Google's producing, what they've already gotten, and the amount of things that, in terms of patents that they already have, and Google approaching on their turf, basically, and it's it's getting ugly. But uh, with their new drive into that phase of technology, you're gonna see that. And I don't, I mean, I think in terms of what's alike and what's different, I think they all get very similar software, and it's just going to keep growing, and, and they're going to keep competing, and uh, we had talked earlier, I mean, I think in terms of technology, it's nothing, it's not a, a bad thing for the industry in, in a way that they're just going to keep producing these products that are just getting better and better. Absolutely. Number two, the state of Missouri has passed a legislation um, that prohibits uh, teachers and students in the public school systems yeah. from having direct uh, Facebook friendships and um, basically a one-to-one -one friendship like a normal Facebook friendship. They are allowing still uh, paid uh, groups. I guess group use are more transparent uses of Facebook. Um, but there was, without getting into too much detail, a uh, case recently in that state um, where a student was harassed by a teacher uh, through uh, messages and things like that, and, and she ended up uh, uh, not faring so well, uh, to say the least. But you know, I think it's an interesting way to try and protect uh, students in this case. Um, I'm sure, you know, the parents are pleased. Yeah. <laughs> I, know I know my parents, when I was in high school, weren't appreciative of me yeah. being friends with anyone on Facebook that had to do with the school. So Right. I think it's certainly just a matter of professionalism in that point, and I think the driving. Uh, force behind this legislation being passed is that that girl would have been saved if this law was enacted a couple years ago. Yeah. So um, something to think about. 
kind of sad that's the way some of these things have to go, that the law has to intervene. But um, I think that's just the way the way of the world at this point. Absolutely. And Tom, uh, want to take out the number one story here? Uh, yeah, LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn actually they went global. They uh, released public. Pu- they went public, not global. They're already global. Um, they went public, and in the stock market, they actually on at the beginning of the day when they released, it was valued at four point two billion. Four point two. By the end of the day, with the bell told. They were up to ten billion in one day, so unbelievable amount of uh, numbers. They they're blowing up in terms of of uh, their public status and, and financially. They just have they're just going to keep growing. I think, and it's it's unbelievable. Though. I mean, I think in one day that's that's some significant uh, jump in numbers, and it'd be interesting to see where they are in a year from now. Absolutely, and that rounds out our top five stories of the week. Uh, remember to follow. Grow Socially on Twitter, at Grow Socially, at Tom R. Barry, at Lou Maglia. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.